what's happening guys welcome back to another episode of grand theft auto 5. it is a beautiful sunny morning in los santos and michael decided to celebrate not being dead yet by going for a morning swim in his three thousand dollar tailor-made suit when you're rich you're rich am i right you have to take those small moments when you can because at any second trevor could come bursting through those doors and <laughs> Behead Michael, or the FIB agents could kill him, or pretty much anyone in Los Santos. He's got a lot of enemies, but luckily he's got a family, which is worse than having enemies. So uh, now that I've gone for my swim, it's time for my healthy morning breakfast. Whiskey, plain. I don't see how people can do this. If you're gonna drink whiskey, you need Jack Daniels, a little bit of Coke and ice. And by Coke, I mean Coca-Cola, not cocaine. Although, with that being said, if there's some cocaine in this house, I think Michael should do a couple lines. It's gonna be a busy day. There we go. One more shot of your healthy morning juice. Mmm. Now that my confidence levels are up, I think it's time for us to do a mission. And believe it or not, we actually have one right outside the house. Yes, we do. Okay, fantastic. And I'm pretty sure his family is gone. Good riddance. I don't love them at all. They're weird and spoiled. Okay, so what do we have? A bank heist? Assassinating someone? Or torture, like last time. I am down for anything. Okay, he's going back into his house. Fantastic. Oh, he's watching an old movie. An old gangster movie. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you lowlife, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she Wait. said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. What the hell is oh, this guy? Yeah, she's very centered. A regular Did oasis of peace and tranquility, this with one. anger issues and worse friends. No you, wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. Oh, what's the matter? Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. Is this your new boyfriend, huh? Oh, fab. Skank? If you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. <laughs> we are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. So why is she driving a tank on hers? <sighs> she does have big Perhaps titties. to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Oh. Uh, yes. We begin each sequence. Tatasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Un, Hippie yoga shit. Fun. Two. Trois. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Okay. Show him, Amanda. What the hell? Un, deux, trois. Mm. It's perfect. Now, Michael. The fuck is this? Some hippie yoga this. shit? Listen, Amanda, is he, speaking of assholes, stretching yours by any chance? You dumped the tennis guy, or rather, I chased him off, and then now you're having fun with the yoga mm. instructor. Mm. Deux, trois. Fantastic. So simple. Now, in through the bloated nose, and out through those wrinkled lips. <laughs> Feel all that hostility, insecurity, and self-centeredness drift away. Mm. Air through the nose, and out the mouth. <sighs> Who would have thought it possible? Yeah, this is not really helping. In fact, I can in feel my nose, anger rising. Out the mouth. Okay, Doc? I kind of want to hurt Out Fabian. Out through the mouth. Wow, Michael. I never thought I'd see the day. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Really? Why is that? 
This guy's a soy boy. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, I see what you mean. You feel that? The emotion inside. Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. No, I'm, I'm good. I don't cry. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. <laughs> Uh, I, I feel the same thing, man. Breathe, Mikkel. The best way to release stress is by killing right. people, obviously. You feel that? Oh, yes. I feel the asshole stretching. Now, you breathe. Oh, yes, I breathe through my Very asshole. Very good. Now let it go. Mm-hmm. Uh, by any chance, do you guys practice yoga together naked in bed? Later, you can show a stripper how flexible you are. Ah, yes, I think I'll do that, Amanda. Weren't you a stripper you at some breathe, point? You can breathe, can't you? Yes, I can breathe. Let it go. Now, inhale. You inhale. Just exhale, Michael. Yeah, He's I know how to breathe, goddammit. For someone who's totally rotten there. Why does he keep her around? <laughs> the silly man forgets to breathe. Uh, silly man? Listen, homie, Let I will put you six feet under. I've done it for less. There. Let it go. Uh, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. <laughs> Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm, he may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata, yeah. Feel the flow. Mm -mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Mm -hmm. oh. <sighs> Mike, would you? Oh, sure. <sighs> Allow all those emotions I hope to there flow. Is time for yoga to save you. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Oh, agreed. Out through those wrinkled lips. Hey, listen, my lips Breathe, are beautiful. Baby. Pretend there's a cigar in your mouth. You pretend there's a dick in your mouth. Okay, that's a bit far. Actually, yeah, do that. Just I'm sure Fabian's breathe, had his babe. and yours. Let it out. You're turning red. I'm trying, goddammit! Yo go fuck. You ever tried baseball? This is not how it is done. Am I doing the yoga wrong? Is attainable. Transcendence. Take in the air and release it. Okay. Out through the mouth. I'm pressing the buttons. I don't know why they don't respond quickly. An intake of air. Let it out, baby. When we met, he was actually limber. Really? Your lungs, they work, yes? Okay, I don't like how out you guys are... Out through the mouth. You guys are really casting a lot of shade on Hold me, okay? Anus. I will kill you. No, seriously. I'm a gangster. Breathe, please, Michael. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know how to breathe. Exhale. This is what I was talking about. Can't you see how blocked he is? In through the nose. Blocked. Breathe out, please. Your inner eye. Inner eye. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Oh, I would agree, because I've now made people stop go. breathing, and it really does stop them from being Look alive. At the concentration on his face. It's like a gorilla with a cell phone. Why am I allowing these Take two morons the to talk shit about me? Release it. Out with the breath. Fabian's body with your bank account would be the perfect man. Oh, you don't say, huh? Your lungs, they work, yes? I can't believe I'm allowing Let these two out. hippies to cast shade my no way. Vanity. Come on. In my own house. <sighs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. Downward dog? I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back, yes, there. Mm. Oh, oh, 
Oh! 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 Now this is some interesting yoga. No, you didn't, Sir Mikkel. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving, and we are never coming back. Good. You are alone, you pathetic psychopath. And you have a face of a dog. And it, Bodhi, French, fucking Yogi. Ah. How about we help them breathe a little bit better, know what I'm saying? I think opening up their chest with the shotgun would really help them breathe in all that fresh air. Give them a third eye. <laughs> you know, Fabian, since you like talking about anuses so much and you're a yoga instructor that's flexible, maybe we can arrange something where your face can permanently be up your anus. Now, I know exactly what's happening here. Amanda Jimmy, swapped out the, uh, the tennis instructor she was boning. She was boning? She has a penis? She was sleeping with for Fabian, the yoga instructor. Listen, Fabian, you can have her. James! I tore Leave that shit alone. up. It is mad oh, loose. Yeah. Fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you're a faggot and you like that sort of shit, and then I'll just rape your mom instead. What the hell? All right, fat fuck, what in the hell are you talking about? Nice Jerk off? Oh, he's gaming. Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Spoiled brat. Is bullshit. it too late to get an abortion? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. <laughs> They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. Oh, damn! He said you ain't got no friends, fat boy! Well, it's good! Oh, wait, that's kind of like me. The only people I talk to are online. You guys said I'm like Jimmy, but I'm not really like Jimmy, right? I'm not a fat jerk-off that games all day and... I'm Jimmy, aren't I? Ah, god damn it. At least say I'm like Michael, because he was man enough to marry a stripper and have a family. And he's rich! I can't be like Jimmy, man! So where's your friend? Burger shot. Burger shot. Is that like GTA's version of Burger King? Well, let's go grab a greasy ass burger. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope smoking, game playing, live at home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? Mm -hmm. I don't hate you, Jim. How many times? You go more fucking odds. I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. Why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of the city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You know, see through some of the bullshit. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. If you think you're walking around a town full of idiots with your Midwestern picket fence values, then you're probably the biggest idiot here. Wake up. Oh, what did I bring into this world? A giant shit stain of a son. Listen, kid, you better wise up and start treating your old man with respect, because if you don't, you're about to have a new dad. And his you name really is Trevor. You really meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. Uh, me weird? Excuse me, I'm the hardened thug gangster criminal that runs the town. You're the fat jerk-off that plays games all day and talks about raping his buddies. Five minutes alone with Trevor and this kid would beg to come home. He would worship me. I'm gonna do it. Hey Trevor, you want a son, man? I got a fat jerk-off you can have right now. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, brother man, what's man? up? Man? It looks like a man. pedophile. Let's see, what are you turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, 
Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck, Jimmy? Just, just hold on a second. This guy is oh, not allowed near a all playground. Right. All right, later Period. On. Careful with that. He probably has a hundred hey, restraining bounce. orders. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. So, uh, Jimbo, what'd you pick up, man? Alrighty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? Sure, we can go back to the house, but your mother's gone. She's out practicing anus stretching with the yoga instructor. So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Wait, no, you're not actually gonna take a drink of that. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> The I'll hell was in that drink, man? Is that You're shit? Fine. No. Is that lean? Really? This is not Chill normal. Out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. Oh, really? This is totally justified <laughs> concern. You should see yourself. Oh, this steering wheel's the size of a Ferris. <laughs> Did my son just give me yeah. psychedelics? No. I'll stop it. Oh, who was in that? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetized me? You're fucking I'm protecting kid. you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. Huh? Right? You're too crazy. Oh, you, you are dead to me. You fat piece of shit. You are so dead to me. He just gave his dad a knockout drug. And, uh, okay, well, apparently I'm being dragged off. A knockout drug, he took my car, and he's gonna empty my bank account and move out. When I catch up to that kid, he is going to beg for death. Do I hear monkeys? <laughs> Planet of the Apes? Did he sell me to a zoo? Alright, listen. Take me to your leader. Just don't kill me. Take me to your leader. I'm being hoisted up into an alien spaceship. What was in that cup? Oh, there's aliens in here. I'm tripping balls. It was psychedelics. Did I just drink a cup full of shroom juice? Is that what happened? If you guys like probing anuses, you should speak to a guy named Fabian. He's been probing my wife. Ugh. Oh yeah. Michael is tripping mad balls. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Hell yeah. Hey, listen, son, you accidentally gave your boy a good time. Oh yeah, Michael, let it, let it all flow out. To hell with yoga. This is all you need, man. Some psychedelics. Tripping yeah, balls, flying through space. You got that third eye open, baby. Life is good until you hit the floor screaming and wake up. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. <laughs> this is great, man. So this is what drugs is like. I might have to try some. Only joking. Only joking. And I'm going to wake up naked in an alley somewhere being raped. Well, I got most of it right. He is almost naked. Now see, Michael, that's why you don't spoil your family. Jimmy, you little shit. Well, this is uh embarrassing. It's been a uh, an eventful day. My wife left me for a yoga instructor. My son just spiked a uh, a drink so that I was knocked out or tripping balls or something, and he stole my car and a bunch of money, and he's moving out. See, Michael, this is why you don't spoil your family. I mean, first of all, you don't even love them. They're, they're pieces of shit. But you just, you don't give them everything they want. Your son's so spoiled, he actually thinks he's, he, he knows what's best. 
when he clearly doesn't. Five minutes on his own without daddy's money and he would be crying, begging to come home. He probably goes through $20,000 worth of pot a week. My God, this is so humiliating. I'm a millionaire gangster riding down the streets of Los Santos, looking like Pillsbury Doughboy in his underwear. I am gonna kill that kid. So help me God. Uh, uh, oh, okay, there we go. Thought I broke that bike. I mean, Michael is fat enough, he probably did break the chain. Okay, well who else has left me? My son, my wife? All I need now is for my skank daughter to be gone and I will have the whole house to myself. This will be great. Hello? Hello? Anyone home? Hey! Please be I'm dead home. or gone. Please be dead Anyone or gone. Anyone here? Kids? Okay, it's quiet. Tracy? Trace? She's not here. I know for a fact my wife is gone. Oh! Uh, Jimmy? Okay, he cleared all his junk out. Did he take the bong? He took the bong. God damn it. And he left the big TV. I guess that's a perk. I can always go get a new son, or make one. Hopefully this time around he's not a spoiled piece of shit. Is my daughter actually gone too? I'm back! <laughs> I'm back! Michael, oh. I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Really? Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck. Hey, listen, Michael. This is good. This is good, homie. I don't know why you're upset. You don't have to deal with your skank wife anymore. You don't have to deal with your daughter that's trying to get into porn production, or rather starring in porn films, and your son is no longer threatening to rape people online, playing video games. This is a beautiful day. It's time to celebrate, homie. In fact, let's go inside and celebrate with a big shot of whiskey. No more wife, no more kids, no more debt. I don't have to pay for all their stuff. This is awesome. In fact, we should start over. You need to go out and find yourself a hot, attractive wife that's not a skank, marry her, and then make some beautiful babies that are not spoiled. Have a good life, Michael. Just keep your criminal life on the lowdown. They don't need to know about all that. And then when they find out, kill them. <laughs> Only joking. Still though, it's a good day. No more disgusting family, no more begging and nagging and cheating. All right, this is, this is good. I like this. Okay, so uh, I don't think we have any more missions with Michael as of now. Um, hmm. I have a feeling my family will be back though. Once they realize that life in Los Santos ain't cheap, they're gonna come crawling back for daddy's money. 100%. Okay, so now that we're done with Michael, let's drop in on the homie Franklin to see if he has any main story missions we can do. I know Trevor has a big mission, but I'm gonna save that for next time. Hey, I'm going, man, before you take advantage. Oh, take advantage? Hey, is Fabian in there? I know he likes to take advantage of booty holes and all. Nah, he's plowing Michael's wife as we speak. Okay, so uh, do we have any missions for Franklin? Yeah, I was afraid of that. Unfortunately not. We have a lot of side missions, but not any main story uh, missions, unfortunately. Mm. Well, that's fine. Again, we're saving Trevor stuff for next time. Um, I think we're gonna try and do one of these side missions here. You guys told me the question mark means it's a side mission, obviously, but the story for the side mission isn't really important to the main story of the game, so I can do these whenever I want. We have this one for Beverly, which I'm pretty sure Beverly was the psycho photographer from last time that wants to take pictures of celebrities' hairy legs because he's weird. <laughs> and uh, down here we've got um, Tonya? Tanya. 
Don't know how to say that name because I am pathetic and stupid. I think we're gonna do a mission for my boy Beverly because he is completely crazy and um, I don't know, he makes me feel normal. I am weird, but compared to Beverly, I am the most coolest, awesome human on earth because he is just a complete crackhead. So uh, yeah, let me grab a car real quick. I've got many options here because I'm a thief. I just steal whatever the hell I want. Get your ass out of this car. It's now my property of thug life. That's right, get out. Get out, come on, official thug business. <laughs> Sorry about that lady. <laughs> Uh, she did that to herself. Okay, Beverly, what's up, homie? Being a peeping Tom, I see. Oh, hey, hey, homie, come here, come here. You know what, if you thought it was incredible getting us out of that aging trout the other day, you just wait till we get a picture of Poppy Mitchell getting in a dirt box, man. Beverly, good to see you. No, seriously, dude, dude, it is a backdoor bonanza with that bitch's concerned. Ah! America's newest <laughs> sweetheart. Man, she likes cotton candy and puff. Yeah, ain't getting in the bunghole. Wow. No, no, seriously, dude. One shot of that dirty little slut monkey, and we're in the money, homie. We're in the money. Uh, and who says America is going to hell? Well, not me. I. <laughs> You're Come one on, weird move. dude. You know that? Now, remember, dude. This is a covert op. We need to blend in, ninja hey, style. Dude, right Follow my lead. Confident but forgettable. From here on out, we're ghosts. Yeah. Me and you, we ain't gonna stand out. At all. Shh. You blow our cover. This should be fucking interesting. Ha ha ha. Ah, Beverly, 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 the peeping Tom. I guarantee this guy has at least a thousand one. restraining Stay orders on him. And play it cool. Okay, man. Let's I'm play it real cool. Diaper, it's not We're not here to photograph anyone, I, I swear to God. Like number two. And we're just gonna help ourselves. Listen, no I one's gonna kick go. us off the property? No, cool. Work, okay. See, Beverly doesn't know this, but since the last time we worked together, he has 200 Gs in his bank account and a whole ass house in the hills. I don't need this job. I don't need to work for you. I mean, unless you're paying like multiple thousands of dollars. Then I might be down. God, this guy is such a perv. Right around this corner. Are you ready to see America's sweetheart getting it in the sweet meat railroad? I'm pretty sure that's invasion of privacy, can't. homie. She knows me, dude. I'll keep lookout. Oh, they are going at it. Jesus Christ, you weren't even kidding. Guys, you do realize you're out in the open. Is that good, babe? Okay then, well I'm just gonna snap a quick pic of that one. I'm only a virgin for TV. Uh, how do I take a picture actually? I mean, I always oh, we're recording, oh. Jump up and down so it doesn't count. What? I'm not releasing a sex tape for at least three years. Unless my agent tells me to. What? I thought this, I love you, Poppy. I really want us to go places. I thought we could be the cutest teen couple. But Justin, you're 21 and I'm 24. We only say we're teens for marketing purposes. That's not true. Okay, just get on with it, will you? Hungry. This is highly disturbing. Hi. There's someone watching. Oh, oh we're not shit. just watching. Security, creepy, abort, creepy, abort, creepy. this way. You're fucking dead. Come on. Go, go, go. Tell me, can you shit standing up? I'm pretty sure you can. It probably just slides out. Your ass is so loose. All right, Beverly, you got the video. Let's go, man. Let's upload that shit to Pornhub. Make $500,000, right? We're not making a penny off this job, are we? Don't just sit there. Film that psycho slut. Damn. America's sweetheart is one angry ass bitch. Yeah, I know. She's terrifying. It's perfect. I'll try to lose them. I was working on my quad, you idiot. Oh, is that what you call taking you dick up the ass? Out this fucking trunk. <laughs> I'm working on my quads, idiot. Oh, I'd like to you work on your quads, in. Man, it's I mean, gonna get worse before it get better. Listen, you're the one doing that shit out in the open. Whoa, you're not a dog. Whoa. What the hell, man? It's one thing when animals that do it, but you're a human. Right on top of us, dog. I'm taking a sharp right. Keep that camera on her. Oh, I got it on her, all right. <laughs> oh, you're gonna go viral. Child molesters. Child molesters? They cut across the intersection. Hold on. 
I don't think you know what the definition of a child yeah, molester is, you lady. Too, man. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Oh, I'm sure you're capable please, of taking please, all man. types Don't of things up all types of places. But that doesn't mean I'm scared of you. Actually, I am scared of you. I mean, I would probably catch all types of diseases even this standing next to you. <laughs> One breath oh, from shit. her and you'd catch every disease on earth. Going left. Keep it steady. I'm keeping it steady. I will fucking destroy you and everyone who knows you. I will fucking destroy you. Jesus, she's still on us. Screw this! I'm going through the construction site! Why are we scared of one woman? She probably can't even walk straight after taking all that meat. You know what no! I'm saying? Oh, you crashed! Man, shit! I hope this didn't just turn into a snuff movie. Eh, whatever, she's fine! Oh, wipe the audio. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Poppy Mitchell crashes car on drug-fueled sex rampage. Right. Okay, Beverly. This better Another pay big bucks. Experience, homie. Hey, well, someone's got to do it. I really don't think so. Hey, look. If you don't want to become rich beyond your wildest dreams while performing a vital public service, you won't meet me again. But then again, you're not an idiot. No, I mean, I am a fucking idiot. Listen, bro. Where's the paycheck at? I'm looking at my hands. I don't see any money. So what? What gives, man? I don't do this shit free of charge. Mission passed. Paparazzi, the sex tape. I got no money from that. What the hell? Did I get money last time I worked with Beverly? I'm pretty sure I did it. Why why am I doing jobs for him if I'm not getting paid? You know that 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 video is going to make his career. So, what gives? Where's my money at? I don't do this stuff free of charge. Okay, well, another successful job done for Beverly, the weirdest guy in Los Santos. And again, I did not get paid for it. I'm almost positive filming someone doing it in public is invasion of privacy. I mean, even if they're in public, it's still invasion of privacy. Is that how that works? Were they in their backyard? I'm not sure how the laws work around that, but I'm almost positive filming two people having sex in their backyard is illegal, at least on some level. <laughs> Ah, okay, well that was, uh, fantastic. Let's go do another side mission. We have one down here for Tonya, Tanya, so, uh, hopefully this one pays. Oh shit, home sweet home. I'm back in my old neighborhood. Hey, oh, it's her, oh god, no. Stay away. Right. Listen, sweetheart, you just, you're all types of crazy. I don't know Tanya, what you're on, but- you ever clean your raggedy bitch ass up? <laughs> Fuck you, Lamar, I mean, Franklin, uh, Whatever. Everybody on the block knows you gone on vine wood and shit. Well, shit. If going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, <laughs> then shit. I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. All right. Shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. Damn, are you good? I'm pretty sure she's having mad withdrawals right now. Whenever people are doing this the whole time, you already know they're either tripping on something so or having withdrawals from something. You need to sober up, lady. I mean, it's one thing to have a little fun every now and again, but Jesus Christ, I'm pretty sure you can't see straight. Okay, so we're doing a tow truck job. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure last time as well, I didn't get paid. Where we at? Do side missions even pay at all? I have a feeling they don't. You never could say no to me, Franklin Clinton. I ain't so cracked out I don't remember that night behind the burger shot. Wait, what? Just again? What, we was like 13? But you was a man after that night. Damn, every time with this shit, and nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. The hell is she talking about? <laughs> Wait, do we lose our virginity behind a burger joint with this crackhead? Dear God, Franklin, you are just, you're above that. I don't know what's wrong with you. Honestly, he seems so smart. I don't understand why he's rolling with a bunch of idiots. He should have his own gang organization, which maybe someday he will. That's our truck. You know the drill. 
Listen, I mean, if you understand how this works and JB's always cracked out somewhere, why the hell don't you run the operation, huh? You're just as capable of driving this thing. She's lazy, that's the problem. Or maybe she's so cracked up, her vision is like, I don't know, distorted and she can't see where she's going. Either way, Dispatch. I better get what paid. 10-4, we got an SUV in a handicapped spot without a sticker. It's a lucky plucker and little soul. Do you copy? You know I don't copy. I'm an original. <laughs> yeah, we got you. JB still sick. Man, you sure you need me? Cause you look like you know what you doing. One, I can't drive. And two, this ain't no work for a lady. Oh, you really fighting the feminist cause there, ain't you, Tanya? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like hell you do. I got a certificate in cosmology. You never seen my nails. <laughs> what, you going <laughs> into space now? You always did think you were so clever. Remember Davis High? You didn't learn shit at that school. <laughs> and you got your math on the corner in Davis. Damn. Okay, well then. <laughs> Go to the illegally parked car. Okay. Well, listen, Tonya, this better pay a goddamn stack of cash. I already got gypped by the other guy I tried to work for. I'm gonna make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. Really? Then where's the money at? Okay, here we are. This shouldn't be too hard. Lucky plucker. <laughs> What a name for a restaurant. Okay, she said, or rather, the person on the radio, an illegally parked SUV in a handicapped parking space. I'm guessing that's the one right there. Man, I'm above this shit. I've got my own house. I got 200 Gs in the bank account. I'm working with real ballers. Why am I over here towing shit? We're on, boo. Let's move it out. Okay, boss. Thanks for all the input. Gotta to tow this car back to the lot, and uh, let's see now, how much you guys want to bet I get paid? 10, 20 dollars? I would be surprised if I even got 100 bucks out of this, if I'm being honest. This ain't a job for making new friends, is it? I thought you been into some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer cars. It's an honest dollar, and there ain't many of those around. An honest dollar that I ain't seen yet? Man, JB need to get his head straight. JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crack? I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they gonna sell the business. A new owner ain't good news for the drivers with no papers. JB sold his social for a piece two years back. I see the problem, but I just don't see that as mine. You too good to cover a brother now? I'm here, ain't I? I've been covering that brother for 20 years. God damn, 20 years? Lamar, or, uh, uh, Franklin, how has it taken you so long to wise up? I mean, seriously, you couldn't have found some old ass dude that's been running the game for a while like Michael beforehand? You've been running with people like Lamar and JB all this time and you haven't learned by now that it doesn't pay, like at all. In fact, I think we've spent probably more money and more of my health trying to do jobs than I'll ever get back. I guess uh, it just takes time to learn, huh? Okay, here we are at the lot. Drop it in the marked area. Same as before, honey. Mm-hmm. I'm expecting something out of this, and if you can't give me money, you better open that mouth wide. I'm only joking. <laughs> That's gonna be demonetized for sure. And drop. I'll make it up to you, Franklin. You know I will. See you round. Listen, sweetie. We don't work free of charge anymore. Maybe old Franklin did things like that. Help a brother out, but I don't do that now. I make money, serious cash. I smoke like $100,000 a weed a week. You gonna do something for me at least? She's probably calling JB. Oh, I just did a job. I got money now for Girl, crack. Oh, that's great, man. That's real good. JB again, can't get his shit together. I don't know why I don't kick that man to the curb. Useless, don't even do it justice. <laughs> oh, what's good with you anyways? You still with that fly guy from Carson Avenue? Who's she talking to? Dondrea? Are you for real? You mean Lahandra's ex-sister. That girl is beat up from the feet up. Damn, what is it with these homies? You give them steak and all they want is burger shot. 
Okay, I'm going to leave you to your business. <laughs> oh, Franklin, we got to have a serious talk. No more favors. I mean, I know these are your people, and this is your town, and, you know, you feel like a special connection, and you want to help everyone out, but it's time to work for number one, bro. You got to make all the money. You got to stack it up. You got to live the good life while you can. Trying to do jobs for Lamar is going to get you killed, and out here running missions for all your ex-friends is just going to really waste your time. I mean, we could have done a job for Lester and made $9,000, got a free house, got a free car, who knows what, but instead, she owes me one. Fantastic, thank you. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it off there. I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, oh, look who just sent me a text. Fantastic. JB missing, please help a sister out with another job. Are you, seriously? Call me and I'll explain, Tonya, XOXOXOXO. Yeah, okay, listen, I did not get paid for the last job and just because your crackhead boyfriend is missing, probably dead somewhere in the ditch, I can't help you, sweetie. But let's call her anyway. Things I'll do for my neighborhood, man. My brother from another crack mother. <laughs> What's going on now? JB, niggas gone AWOL, baby. I don't know what to do. Is he ever not AWOL? He's bad, Franklin. Got his claws in deep this time. They're on to him, leaving messages, saying he gonna get cut. You ain't gonna let a sister starve. Look, man, I'm not gonna let that happen, all right? Now leave it with me. I mean, go to the tow truck? You've got to be kidding me. I have to go get the tow truck? Oh, I was about to end the episode, but shit, it looks like we're doing another job for her. For free. Because JB's a crackhead. Franklin, I'm sorry, my man, but I said it once before and I'll say it again. You got a heart of gold and that is just not going to cut it when you got people that want to take advantage of you. Also, you should probably not let me control your car because I am a terrible, terrible driver. All right, let's go grab the tow truck again. And listen, Tonya, you don't have to starve. You can just kind of hoe yourself out. I mean, it's Los Santos. I'm sure there's plenty of people that would pay a little bit of money for some ass. That's a terrible thing to say. I know, I know. But it's true. So if JB's missing, why the hell do I need to get the tow truck? What, am I supposed to, like, tow his body out of a river somewhere? Did he OD and fall in a lake? 1033. This is dispatch. 1033. We got a car stalled on the train track to Chunk Street, Elysian Island. Look out of here. Over. Yo, yo, I can handle that. 10-4. Put the hammer down. Put the hammer down. <laughs> Go to the stalled car. Okay, all right. This shouldn't be too difficult. Wait, why do they need a tow truck to pull a stalled car off a railroad track? Fuck out. Could they not just bump it off the tracks? Push it? Something? You need a whole ass tow truck to drive all the way there and then tow it off. Okay, one stalled car. Let's just line this up before the train comes through and kills this guy. There we go. And... We got him! And you're gonna jump out! Holy crap, that was close. Oh, and there's the train. You're slow. You're so slow. If you were faster, it would have been more fun. I was in Ghana there for a second. Could you drop me out the nearest repair shop? Sure thing, homie. That'll be three thousand four hundred fifty-seven dollars. Yeah, it started spluttering at the crossing. Then the engine just cut out. Damn car, foreign trash. I've told my wife a hundred times, but she's like, "Oh no, Phil, you can't say that. Not anymore." She'll soon change her tune when she finds out I nearly died. All this fancy eco crap they put in cars now. We never asked for it. We never signed that treaty. A mile less to the gallon, and maybe I wouldn't have ended up on top of the train tracks. I'm at a loss for words. Could have fooled me. <laughs> Makes a nice change, though, to get towed for a good reason. Normally, I'd be cussing you out. You know, asking you how you sleep at night. I'm sure you would, man. You been in the business long? Uh, I ain't exactly in the business. Just helping out a friend, dawg. Mm. Helping out a friend, more like doing his goddamn job, crackhead junkie. Okay, well this guy's at a loss for words finally, so we're gonna go drop his car off at a repair shop. And you better pay me! I'm not in the habit of doing shit free of charge, okay? I'm not community service over here. I'm out trying to get paid, make money, and get cool shit. And here we are, one repair shop. Uh, oh, this is gonna be kinda tricky. 
You don't mind if your car's a little scratched up, right? Nah, you're fine. It's foreign junk after all, right? Okay, thanks again. That could have been much worse. I think you would have been fine. You could have gotten out of the car before the train turned you into a spill on the road or a smudge. If it ain't the finest man in South L.S. You can tell J.B. I did his work for him again. I will, boo. Soon as he wakes up. Wakes up? So he's sick, huh? Real sick. He has to wake up. Hmm. That's so sad. I wonder what ails him. Could it be the copious amounts of drugs he's doing? Nah, it's the flu. The meth flu. The coke flu. Who knows? Either way, though, I'm going to leave it off there. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Apparently, I am now the Good Samaritan of Los Santos, which does not make any sense. I'm a hardened criminal. Not a good guy, but either way, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace out.